Carmody looks to drive. Two seconds to shoot, tries to get one up. And he gets it to go. The shot off just barely in time. The Colonials in transition. It's Hawkins underneath. Who's blocked by Carmody? This time it's a three ball from John Williams, and he's got it. All right, it's curling off of that look. That's the shot it's that they should be looking for. Overall, seven for 22. Just haven't had that many good looks. It's a step back three from John Williams with the shot clock winding down. Wow. Robert Morris has some momentum. Has some momentum in the closing moments of the first half. Oh, great dribbling! Oh, and the finish! Oh my goodness! Here, attacking with his left hand. Then going back and up and through. Oh my. That was very pretty. And back on the floor for Notre Dame. Fluger, Hub, Gibbs, Durham, and Mooney. Inside of Durham with the flush. Well, that answers that question right away. Turnovers. Great post play inside. Got the basketball inside. And then you got to play with that looseness and confidence in order to. Wow, there's a big shot. Even though he's struggling a little bit the offensive end, he still does everything that a coach wants to be done. He handles things. There's a great post Backing up. Down on an undersized Williams in the reverse for Moody is good. Execution and you know, I think those are things that he's a great coach. He knows his team, he knows how they play, and they just did not play very well. Good win with the post move inside. Shoot it. But he's got it open and the Irish have not allowed that to happen. It was his fourth three of the game. And one. To the team managers. I mean, the list is nearly endless. It is. Leshesky has the three ball. It's his first of the season. Team wins by 35, a commanding 92 to 57 win. And it all comes down to the shooting. It was outstanding for Notre Dame. And I really like the defensive effort, the first half especially.